Hello everyone! Today I'm here with Gabriella and we are sharing with you her toddler routine, how we do 15 minute sessions to get her ready for preschool and kindergarten. And these are really special 15 minute sessions because not only is the child learning literacy, vocabulary, developing their speech, they're learning a lot of the basics that they're going to be learning in preschool and kindergarten. In addition to that, which is my favorite, is that special bonding time that you get to have with your child. Whether you are a caregiver, a teacher, a parent, you get that 15 minute time that is going to be so helpful for their academic journey, but also for your bonding and relationship time with your child. So we do three things. We do a nursery rhyme, we do repetitive books, and then we do a session of flashcards. So come along with us and we'll show you how we do it. So for the nursery rhymes and the finger plays, I usually have a little bag of like puppets and I have lots of different puppets that I use here for songs um, and things like that. I also have a little container where I have all of my nursery rhymes and finger plays materials in here. If you want to know the materials that I use in my top 12 nursery rhymes that I love, I'm going to link it below in the description box. So out of this box, I pulled out two little songs for today that she's going to be doing. Are you ready, Gab? Yeah. Okay, so nursery rhymes, I just want to mention, they are very important because the child is not only going to learn vocabulary, they're going to memorize these beautiful songs, um, but that rhyme and rhythm helps them develop an ear for language as they learn the sounds and the syllables. So it's really important later on for reading when they begin to read. Ready, Gabby? Yeah. We're gonna do the little monkey song, okay? Yeah. Ready? Let's sing yeah. along with me. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So she gets to take these off the mat and they fall down. Ready, Gabby, the next one. Now, four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Can you sing the next one with me? The doctor said... What? The doctor no said... No more jumping. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. And you continue the song and let the child fill in the missing parts of the song as they sing them along with you, which helps with speech. Now, Gabby, let's do another song. Ready? Let's do... The Itsy Bitsy Spider. Ready? Yeah. Can you sing it with me? Yeah. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. <gasps> Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the Itsy Bitsy spider went up the spout again. Very good. So these little things, I make them, I laminate the cards and I put these popsicle sticks. If you want to, if you want to know the, the top favorite nursery rhymes that I use here at home and how I keep them in this bin, I'll link it below for you guys so you guys can have your copy as well. All right. The next thing that we do in our little session is repetitive books yes so again with the repetitive books not only are they learning vocabulary but they are memorizing these books or memorizing these stories and this repetition is very very helpful it helps them to enhance their language skills to enhance their imagination so are you ready Gabby yeah all right um, another thing that I want to mention is also that reading to your children is proven to be one of the best things, one of the most important things you can do to get your child ahead in education is to read to them every day, even if it's just 
one buck a day and children that are read to on a daily basis they score higher in standardized tests they are better readers they have a love for reading so please take it really seriously to read every day so we're gonna read here the five little ducks today ready Gabby yeah they're repetitive books so the child is going to memorize the songs and they're gonna start singing along with you and it helps them with their speech development and with their language Ready, Gab? Yeah. Let's sing along. Yeah. Five little yeah. ducks went out ducks one day. day over the hill and far away. Mama duck called quack, quack, quack. But only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went out one day over the hill and Mama duck called quack, quack, quack. and only three little ducks came back. <gasps> three little ducks went out one day over the hill and Mama called the ducks and three little ducks. And two little ducks came back. Very good. And she said quack quack. And you continue on, you let the child fill in the blanks and let them sing along with you. So if you want to know my top favorite books, I made a video on my top favorite repetitive books for children. I'll link that video in the description box. Now let's move on to our flashcard session. So we've done our song, our book. You can read one or two books. And then we go to our flashcard session. In our flashcard session, I like to focus on things that the child is sit down, Gabby, that the child is going to need to learn for preschool and kindergarten. So they need to know their colors. They need to know their body parts. They need to know numbers one through ten. They need to know their shapes. They need to know their letter sounds. And I like to rotate different things into this basket. Today I have these first words flashcards. I'll link them below if you guys want a copy of these. And these are great for learning language, vocabulary, and developing that speech. So let's go over a little session and show you how we do it. Ready? So she gets to pick a pointer. So pointers are important because it helps the child focus on the flashcards. So I have a little wooden stick. Okay. I have a little flower on a stick. Little instruments, whatever you have. And this. And she gets to pick a different one every day, so she gets really excited. And this. Yes. <laughs> so let's go over our flashcards, okay? Let's go over our body parts. So, these body part flashcards I made like a decade ago. I just printed out some pictures from the internet and I laminated them. And all of my kids have used them. Ready, Gabby? What are these? Eyes. Eyes. <gasps> what are these? Ears. Ears. Very good. <gasps> what is this? Nose. Nose. What is this? Hand. Hands. What are these? Hair. Hair. Teeth. Teeth. Very good. What's this? Lips. Lips or mouth, yes. What about these? Toes. Toes and they're your feet, right? Yeah. What about this? Belly button. Belly button. What about these? Legs. Legs. What about this? Tongue. Tongue. <laughs> Fingers. Fingers. What about these? They're the fingers on your toes. What are those called? Toes. What about these? Eyebrows. Eyebrows. And you got it. Very good, Gabby. Yeah. Now let's go over our colors. Ready? Yeah. Go ahead. Red. Red. Blue. Blue. Yellow. Yellow. Purple. Purple. Green. Green. Orange. Orange. Pink. Pink. Gray. Gray. White. White and? Black. 
Black or one more? Brr. Brown. Brown. Good job, Gabs. <laughs> now let's go over our shapes. Yeah. What's yeah. this? Circle. Circle. Heart. Heart. Oval. Oval. Purple. That's a purple what? Purple star. Good, purple star. What's this? Rectangle. Rectangle. What's this? Tri. Tri. Angle. Triangle. Good. What's this? Diamond. Diamond and square. 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 Good job. All right. Now we're gonna say our numbers together. Ready? Numbers. You say with me. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Three, four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, and ten. Ten. So at first you just you're just going to flash the numbers and then you're going to have them repeat after they get a little better. And then when you when you know that they know the the, the flashcards have them repeat by themselves. All right, and the last one that we do is letter sounds. Letter sounds are very important to teach children because once they learn their letter sounds and they blend those sounds, they are reading. So this is the most important part, the most important part of learning to read. So you could either do it with flashcards like this, just one minute at a time, and you flash, or you can use here a letter sounds book that I like to use. So I like to alternate between the letter sounds book and the flashcards. So today, we're going to use the flashcards. Ready, God? Yeah. So I'll say the sound and you point and you repeat. Ah, 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 b, b, k, k, d, d, a, a, g, g, a, a, j, j, k, k, oh, mmm, mmm, Very good. Give me five. You did so good. And the last one that we have today is we like to rotate different ones. Today we have this one, which is the first Apple. words. Yeah, so I want you to tell me what these are. Okay, this is good for speech Kick. development. What is this? Apple. What's this? You want to point to it and tell Egg. me? Egg. Egg. What's this? Flower. Good. Tree. Tree. Frog. Frog. Hat. Hat. Bike. Bike. Pig. Good. What's this? Banana. Banana. And you can also ask them questions about the cards. What color is that banana? Yeah. Good. What's this? Pumpkin. What color is this pumpkin? Orange. Orange. What's this? Shoes. Do you have shoes at home? Yeah. Yes. What's this? Carrot. Do you like eating carrots? Yeah. Yes, you do. What's this? Heart. What color is that heart? Red. Good. What's this? Key. What do you use the key for? What do you use that? Open the door. Open the door. Give me five. So you just keep going with the first words. And at first, you just want them to learn the vocabulary. As they get better, you want to start asking them questions about the cards. So as you can see, it's very simple. These 15 minute sessions, you just sing a song, read a book, and do a little flashcard session. It's going to be such a sweet bonding time with you and your children. I'm going to link below the letter sounds book, any of the flashcards that you can find online, and anything that I mentioned in the video. If you wanna know my favorite um, books, my top books, or my favorite nursery rhymes, I'll be linking them below in the description box of the video. Gabby, you want to say bye-bye? Yeah, bye-bye. Bye. If you haven't already subscribed bye. to my channel, please do. In the coming week, I'm going to be sharing with you logic activities, critical thinking activities, 
four toddlers and preschoolers. I hope you have enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time. Say bye, Gabby. Bye-bye.